What is up, Sensi fans? It's Patricia, and welcome to another week of Tester Tuesday, a spot where I get you guys to vote every week. The top two cents from each week's voting will make it into the next week's reviews. So this is where I get to review Sensi Cents with you, and hopefully that will help you decide if a scent's gonna work for you or not. Now, always keep in mind, these reviews are based on my home and my nose, so every sniffer differs, but it's a good guide. All right, let's talk about our first place scent for the week. It is Christmas Cottage Mint. This one had 26% of the vote. We had a lower voting week last week, but that's okay. Very tight race between the top three scents. So this one is a mossy green colored wax, a light creamy green, and on cold sniff, it's about shy of medium in intensity. And this is part of the Scentspirations line, which is based off the scent Christmas Cottage with things added in. Last week, we reviewed Christmas Cottage Cider and Christmas Cottage Wreath. And here we're doing the last one, Christmas Cottage Mint. And I also have a Christmas Cottage Tester Tuesday review from years ago. So I think Scentsy has put this in the fresh category, but I'm not sure. I would still say it's spice. So let's read the scent description. Scentsy says, harvest spice and winter mint mingle in the invigorating morning air. Now on cold sniffs, when I first smelled this, I felt like the mint, which is a wintergreen mint, and the morning air made it seem like a lighter intensity Christmas cottage. And I would still say that, but on warm, I didn't really get any morning air. I just basically got Christmas cottage and a variation of a mint. And what it reminded me of is a cinnamon bubblegum. So years ago, I used to have a extra gum and it was bubblegum plus mint. So picture a cinnamon bubblegum with mint, and that's what this reminds me of. Like a big red, I think, is a cinnamon gum, or cinnamon gum plus mint added to it. This was the one I was most worried about, and just because it sounded kind of strange, but did it really work for me? I'm not really sure. Scent appeal was, eh. I found when the mint came out, it came out early, and most noticed what, the first two, three hours, and then I didn't really get it. Now at the end of the warming one time, I felt like it was like a creamy mint, but mostly I just got Christmas Cottage. Like this just reminded me a lot of Christmas Cottage. Christmas Cottage Cider reminded me a lot of Christmas Cottage, maybe with a little gooey apple. Christmas Cottage Wreath was the most different to me. So let's talk about performance. So I'm just gonna take something out here. I had a, a little experiment going on. So I put two cubes here in my room in a 25 watt unglazed ceramic. It's called Simple Reminders. That one, I had between five and six, but actually circled six for strength and throw because it took a long time to build to that six. Like I, I remember thinking, why am I not smelling these the greatest? But it just seemed to take a while to build in the room. So I left it on day one for 14 hours. I turned it off. A couple days later, I turned it back on and day two just really didn't do very well. I couldn't really get the scent near as what I could on day one. So I would say I got a good long day out of this one. Uh, very similar results in my entranceway, exactly the same, except it was stronger there. It was about 7 out of 10, and that was in an aspirin grove, which is an old-style 25-watt ceramic warmer. And I decided to warm two more cubes in my kids' bathroom, which is what we have here. And it did the best there between 7.5 and, and 8, and I left it going two days. Now, I meant to turn it off, just like it turned the other ones off, and I forgot. So I didn't really get a good read on how it did the whole two two days, but when I went in, I was like, on the end of the almost 48 hour time frame, it smelled like a creamy, pleasant mint. Now what I did was I took one of the cubes and put it in here, and I wanted to smell it, and then I took the other cube and put it in a bag away from the cubes with scent. I just want to see if there's a difference, because I, I, I noticed that last week, so definitely a difference. So it's funny, it's almost like the old wax adopted some of the scent from the clamshell. That's very interesting. Yeah, this has no scent and this has a bit of scent. So anyway, both were in a 15 watt mini warmer in the bathroom, so interesting, hey? All right, so would I purchase this one again? No, the only one I purchased would be Christmas Cottage Wreath. This one I would say, I'm probably gonna finish the last two cubes in a small space versus a medium or large. Maybe medium uh, entrance weight seemed to do very well. Uh, obviously, it does lead into a wintry style scent versus any other season. And I just don't know about this collection if Christmas Cottage was the best choice to pick for a base scent because it is somewhat complex in nature and it's a little bit aggressive on the cinnamon. That's why I said this still seems like a spice scent to me because it is basically, Christmas Cottage is basically raspberries, cloves, uh, Valencia orange, and spices. And the most dominant note I get is the red hot cinnamon. 
the raspberry and the Valencia orange kind of brighten and lift it a little bit, but it's still a pretty heavy cinnamon scent. So yeah, I think if you're gonna pick up this collection, you must really love Christmas Cottage, but you might also have to be flexible enough to be open to varieties. So there we go, that is Christmas Cottage Mint. All right, let's talk about our second place set for the week. Just by a few votes, less than five, it is Candy Apple. So this is the remaining brick from the five brick bars. This one had 24% of the vote. It's this Kelly green colored wax, and I would say it's above medium on cold snip, like a medium plus heading to strong. And I think Sensi has put this in the fruity category. I should have verified that, but <laughs> that's okay. I would put this in the fruity category. The scent description is tart green apples with a sweet candy apple. So I have worn this before when it used to be called winter candy apple. And I think Sensi had to change the name because Bath and Body Works has a winter candy apple and rumor has it that this and Bath and Body Works are similar. I don't recall Bath and Body Works, so I can't verify that for you personally. But what I'm gonna do is I actually went through my videos from YouTube and I found a little clip where I was talking about winter candy apple and my thoughts are somewhat the same and somewhat different. I feel like this version is slightly different. Um, let me put the video up for you and then I will explain my challenge with this scent as of late. Another one I would not repurchase, but I did warm four cubes was winter candy apple. And this one is described as, and sorry, you know what happened? My son got a hold of my notes and he, he anyway, they got all wet. <laughs> so this one is descri described as tart green apples and sweet candy. And this one is definitely sweet. Call your dentist. Woo, it reminds me of like a Halloween candy. I think you like rip them open and you pour them in your mouth and they pop. I mean, it's not effervescent, but it reminds me of like a sour green apple candy. And it's like pop, pop, pop. I, I, I've had something that tasted like that. Yeah, so what happened with this one? I didn't find it lasted very long. But man, was it strong at the beginning. Whoa. And then as it warmed, it kind of developed like a shampoo characteristic. I think like fru fructus or fructus shampoo or some sort of hair care product that remind me of a little bit perfumey, a green apple. So that is Winter Candy Apple, not very long lasting, but pretty strong and intense. Starts off very sweet, kind of ends more tangy, perfumey hair care product. All right, so what I found different from my previous review is that at the beginning, this reminds me a lot of almost like a Lysol wipe that's been flavored with green apple. Like almost like if they were gonna say, oh, let's put out a Lysol wipe or a cleaning product not quite a, it just reminds me of a Lysol wipe that has a green apple flavor. Now I found that very off-putting and not very pleasant this time around, but I must say once that dies off after, you know, the first half a day to three quarters of a day, you're left with that nice description that I have with it, which was a nice uh, sweet apple, sweet tart apple that was like candy lake. So the problem with me is I have to fight through the beginning to get to the part that I like. But let's talk about performance. So um, I actually warmed it in three spots. So the first spot I warmed it was my TV bonus room. I put almost four cubes equivalent in the bonus room. And strength to throw there was nine out of 10. It did fantastic. I left it going 33 days over about a day and a half and that was constant. Around hour 12, I have a note that it went from nine down to seven. So it took 12 hours to drop <laughs> a little bit. Now in my entranceway was the second spot I warmed. I just warmed just shy of two cubes because all these brick cubes are very in sizes. I will put a link to a video that I made about how much each brick cube of these weird shaped bricks are down in the comments. Um, just shy of two cubes. Strength and throw in my entranceway was nine and a half out of 10. Very, very strong. I have a note on day two at the beginning, it was five out of 10. So I left it going for the first day, 12 hours, turned it off. Start it up again, I have a note five out of 10, and I have a smiley face for intensity and profile, but a kind of neutral face for <laughs> scent appeal on that first day. I left going two days, 24 hours. So what I decided to do was warm some in my open layout just to see because I have lots of wax and it did really well in the other two spots. Um, in my open layout, I used, used about seven cubes equivalent by weight, seven cubes of a Scentsy bar. And it was between seven and seven and a half, and I left it going for a day. 
And once it kind of dipped to that second tier, it was a little bit harder to smell, but I would say the first, the first day, um, I'm not sure if it throws the greatest, but it's strong. So what I mean is I had it going in four warmers and I think I had, I think I really noticed it one time and I, I looked to see how far away I was and I was about 12, 12 ish, um, feet away. And my warmers are definitely spaced more than 12 feet apart. So it wasn't quite as room filling as it was in other rooms, but that is also not in an enclosed space. So anyway, um, if you like Bath and Body Works Winter Candy Apple, maybe give Scentsy Candy Apple a try. If you like Fruity Scents, definitely give this one a try. Some people don't get that like cleaning Lysol wipe type product. Some people do. Um, I would say this is open concept worthy. Maybe go to medium spaces, but nothing too small or it'll feel way too strong. I think I might try mixing with this with something like a Beach Daisy, which is a lighter intensity and it might kind of round out that early phase. Will I be repurchasing this one? No, I'm probably gonna work my way through it and try to use it up. So that is Winter Candy Apple. Oh, that is Candy Apple, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, now we are moving to the portion of the video where I'm gonna draw some scents from the big box and from a little box. And you guys are gonna vote. If you're new to my channel, you're gonna pick two different scents by early Wednesday morning. Those are your votes. You put them down in the YouTube comment section. Some people only want to vote once. If you only want to vote once, just put that so I don't keep <laughs> harassing people. Do you have another vote? Um, if you are unable to vote on YouTube, for instance, you're watching on a TV, you can find my Instagram post. It's Patricia Gates and put your two votes there. So I have my case cutter and you're thinking, Patricia, why are you having a little box? Well, I'm going to show you something. We are going to, we are going to draw from some older scents. I just want to use up some testers and we will we'll probably be coming back to some of these other scents that I haven't gotten to, but I just want to use up some scents from the box. And sometimes it's nice to hear about older scents, but we're going to kind of do a spin on an older scent because I am going to present as option number one, and I wore my sweatshirt as a hint. Option number one is a purple wax and it's a brick. This is the brick called Sensi Is You Family Reunion. So I'm going to put this as scent number one. This was offered, I think, in 2022, it says, at the Sensi Family Re Reunion, which I didn't attend, but I, I haven't even smelled it, so it's got sparkles. I'm not going to say anything. Maybe I'll do a video on first snips for this. Well, it's, it'll technically be se second snips because I just smelled it. So scent number one, again, is called Sensi Is You Brick. If you want to just put brick, I'll know what you mean. All right, scent number two is Amber Road. These are really old testers. I have warmed Amber Road before. Scent number three is called Go Wild Flowers. And I have not warmed this before, and this is all the wax I have for that. Scent number four. Oh gosh, can you read this? Winter Pine. Now, I, I don't usually solicit votes, but if you want to vote for Winter Pine, I would love you forever because I have two bars from 2018 I've been dying to use up. I might even use them up regardless, and I won't do a test for Tuesday if it doesn't make it in, but if you like Pine Scents, vote for Winter Pine, and I will love you forever. Scent number five is a Red Wax Dazzling Pomegranate. And scent number six is another green wax. It is Holly Berry Cinnamon. And I do have a bar of this and all these testers. So we have a lot, a lot of choices this week. Well, we have six choices, same as always. <laughs> but some new slash old and some old. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you find Tester Tuesday videos helpful. Uh, don't forget to vote and I will see you guys in the next video.